Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie Ray, and I own this YouTube channel and blog called Honestly Bear. Um, it's a ministry. I'm very excited. Um, if you have any prayer requests, there is always a link in the description box below. It can be anonymous. You can put your name, whatever it may be. All you do is send it in. I get it in my email, um, in my inbox, and I read it, pray for you, and then delete it, and it's all confidential. So, um, what I have for this video is something completely different and you guys might just roll your eyes at me and that's a hundred percent okay. That is all, you know, your type of thing. But for the people out there who live a more natural lifestyle, they have pets, um, I'm just going to show you my favorite products. Um, and I do have a cat, so that's the only thing I can speak to. If you have a dog, um, I haven't really dove that far into it. But some of these products actually can be used for dogs and cats. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I am on a natural, holistic kind of lifestyle. Um, I always have kind of been. Like, my mom has always been that way, so I've kind of always been that way. Um, but then whenever I went on my own, obviously, you know, college, like you don't eat very well, you don't eat like good, wholesome food, um, and you don't like really care about those things. Well, at least I didn't. And then, um, whenever I became an ad adult and I started living on my own, working, etc., um, I started paying attention to what was in my food. I started paying attention to, um, what were in my products and all the things like that. And so, um, I am just going to show you, like, little snippets of things. I probably also need to get litter, but I'll show you that later. Don't worry about it. Um, but these are just some of the things that I have for my pet. Um, and yeah. So, I have a cat. Her name is Ava. She, um, was a rescue, so she had worms, she had fleas, she had all the things that were nasty. Um, not nasty, but, like, you know, like the rescue things that you get, um, fleas, ticks, all the things. So, um, I had to give her conventional flea medicine. I gave her that for a while, like the drip, drip pour on. Um, I gave her that for about a year. And then, um, right now she has this flea collar. It's a natural flea collar. Um, and I also used her Nesto to get rid of the rest of the fleas that she did have. Um, so that was really helpful. And then also a really good non-toxic like wash that you can give your pet um, is with Dawn dish soap. It kills fleas and ticks on contact. And so I did a lot of bathing um, with her of that. And um, now she is flea and tick free. And now she wears a all natural flea collar. Um, I don't make it myself. I get it from Chewy. I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, I'll try to link all of this stuff, if I can, uh, just to make it easier for you guys. Um, I get almost all of her products from Chewy, minus, like, one item. But everything else is from Chewy. Um, and you don't have to pay, like, a monthly fee with Chewy, which is why I, like, love it so much. It's not a sponsor. This video is not sponsored with them. I'm just saying I use Chewy because it's cheap, affordable, and, um, I don't have to pay, like, a monthly fee. So, yeah. So I did a lot of that. Dawn dish soap was my saving grace because it was affordable and I could, I mean, I was a college kid. I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on my cat. I know that's really rude, but, um, I used Dawn dish soap to wash and cl clean all the fleas and ticks and everything like that. Um, and I also used that on her bedding, um, all the things, all the things like that. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is this. This is a flea and tick wipe. Um, it kills the fleas, the flea eggs, the ticks. Um, repels mosquitoes for dogs and cats so if you have a dog you can use this um, I love this whole entire line I use their shampoo to wash her um, I use the shampoo for her um, and then I also use um, uh, the shampoo for her bedding and then I also use the spray of this for her bedding whenever she was going through her fleek, fleek. <laughs> flea and tick treatments and stuff like that um, I, I went and I would have to wash her stuff all the time, you know, and so I would pour like a little bit of her, um, soap that I used to clean her. I would put that on her bedding whenever I would wash it in the washing machine. And then I would also spray it daily with, um, 
this type of um, spray. But now all I have are these wipes. These wipes are incredible. Their whole line smells really amazing to be honest. It smells like mint and rosemary, which I love that smell. Um, so I love it. <coughs> oh my gosh. Um, anyways, so now all I do is use this and I just wipe down pretty much anything that she uses. Um, if she ends up like puking up a hairball, anything like that, I use this um, because it smells good and it cleans everything. Like it, it just, it cleans everything. It's safe for her, um, safe for me. And um, it also kills fleas and ticks. So it just is a really good wipe because it has all the essential oils to clean stuff. Like it cleans everything um, and has all the essential oils for it. But it also can just like help out life. Um, and as you know, I'm a very zero waste, low waste person. I've had this for a while and I've used it at least ever almost ever, once a week twice a week and so um it's just a really amazing product um and it is mostly non-toxic um it does have some allergies um so i don't use this all the time but i do just like to wipe down our stuff with this okay that was a long explanation but along the route of cleaning and cleaning um a cat. I have this um, Don't Worry No Rinse. It's a rinseless waterless shampoo um, because once Ava got older she did not like baths anymore and it grosses me out to have a cat in my home or an animal in my home that isn't regularly washed and since cats don't really like water um, I use this product. Um, this product is um, uh, cedarwood, rosemary, orange, um, balsam oil and benzyl alcohol in it um, and it just cleans everything it is the most natural product I could find that is related to cleaning um, your pet but this is the product that I use um, it is non-toxic and so um, that is just really cool for me um, and I love this so it smells really good too and it comes out in like a little foam pump and um, I basically do this like once a week and she does like her bath and um, I just rub it all over her. Um, she doesn't really mind it but she also doesn't really love it so she just kind of like sits there and hopes for the best. Um, but along the lines of if you need to give your cat pills, um, so whenever I had to get rid of the fleas and in her and all the different things and the worms the worms were the worst um but we had to get rid of the worms i had to give her her worm warming medicine in these pill pockets um and i got these at petco and i had to think about it <laughs> but it's basically like these little like hopefully she didn't run in here <laughs> but it's like these little bitty pockets and in that hole you put like the little pill and then they just eat it as if it was a treat. Um, it was still really tricky for her to eat it but she did end up eating it. Um, and I find that these are very helpful for pretty much anything. So if you guys need any of that. This is uh, the salmon flavor. That's her favorite flavor. Your cat might like it too. I don't know. Um, but along the lines of treats now let's go into that. Um, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay. So. Sorry, I'm organizing everything. Okay, so, um, another type of, like, product that I use once a week on her is this veterinary formula, um, clinical care. Um, it's ear therapy for dogs and cats. I basically just, like, take this and open this and put a little drop in the ears and it basically treats bacterial and fungal infections um just keeps her safe so whenever i wash her i also put this in her ears and um she just kind of like goes about her day but it's really hard to put the drops in the cat's ear um so just forewarning but this is my favorite one and for those who care it is cruelty free and it basically just cleans and disinfects. It's got purified water in it. 
propylene glycol uh, glycerin um, lactic acid benzoic acid salicylic acid um, so basically it is non-toxic because all of these are actually organic chemicals so they like in organic gordon uh, can I speak and organic chemistry uh, I learned about these and basically they're all stuff that is found within our own bodies so yeah this is my favorite one or found organically and has carbons in it basically is what I'm trying to say okay I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> um, and then the next products are basically just general products that I found was really cool um, and one of them is a comb I have this or had this comb since she was a kitten um, and I still brush her every day and it just grabs like all of the hair that's on this cat because she sheds and it's just good to brush her I brush her almost daily um, and this is a flea and tick comb I used it again because she had fleas a long time ago but now she doesn't and now I just use it as a regular comb and um, it's really helpful because it gets all of the hair off so next is a collar um, well not a collar I guess this is more of like a harness um, it's got cat hair on it so just don't mind that but um, this is the harness I got I got it from five below I think or was it Petco it was either Petco or five below um, but basically she just wears this whenever she goes outside we take her out on the porch um, every now and then and she she kind of likes it I don't know if she likes it but she just likes the sun so we like take her out there to feel the sun and she's like Oof, this is so warm and so great so those are just some of the other products that I have with them now let's talk about the stuff that I use that's all all natural such as essential oily and whatnot um, you might think I'm nuts which is totally fine but I have um, a pour on for Ava um, and this is a flea and tick um, pour on and I do this once a week um, along with her flea collar because I really don't want her to get them again and this is not going to hurt her this is literally diluted and a baby could have this on their skin and like nothing would happen um, so I pretty much diluted this a bunch and basically all I do is get like a little dropper and I pour this on her back basically like a pour on like you would um, any other type of animal like a cow um, pig sheep hogs all things uh, it's not any different and um, I use this for her and so this is for fleas and ticks and then I have another pour on um, like this and I do the same thing is what it looks like and this is her deworming pour on um, and I do that at least once a week because again it's all natural so I can do it more frequently um, so the weekly things this I wash her I put this in her ears and then I do these two pour ons that's weekly that's just like the routine that we have um, and she doesn't like any of it so but it keeps her healthy and so I think that's really like the important part um, so then daily let's talk about daily stuff so um, I'm going to talk about her food, her treats, and then her essential oil roll-on. So this essential oil roll-on um, is basically lavender, citronella, purification, and I think like two more things. Um, and then it has the carrier oil, um, and I give her flax carrier oil. Um, because that is what's really good for pets um, from my own research you should do your own but from school and from um, a bunch of other research that I've done outside of school and classes flax oil is the best carrier oil for them um, so anyways uh, that's what's inside here and I do this as a daily roll-on um, it just kind of keeps her calm and helps her like helps her digestive system that's what's in here digize um, I put like a little drop in there um, but basically what Digize does is helps her um, with her stomach because ever since she had worms she has scarring in her intestines at least that's from my own research what I think it is and Digize has helped her just maintain a regular system and so 
I really like this and lavender is really good for fleas, ticks, all the things like that. So that's that. Um, and then her treats that I give her are these. Um, this is the Digestive Health um, Get Naked Simple and Honest Pet Treats um, and Soft Treats for Cats. It has pre and probiotics in it. And it also has crude fat taurine, which is a really big one for them. Um, and then also has like zinc and dried bacillus, which is really important. Chicory root um, and flaxseed. And then vegetable glycerin as well as, what was it? Oh, brewer's yeast which is really important for cats in maintaining optimal health with a shiny coat as well as um, giving them some of their omegas and um, stuff like that so it also has flaxseed which I said earlier um, which is health healthy digestion skin health and other benefits so flax is really important which is why I use flax oil for them um, and stuff like that and then like it's multiple just her um but it's just really cool um i love this one so much for her and i've seen definitely an improvement in what she is doing day to day and so this is what i give her these are the only treats that i give her now um i used to give her a different kind which i also really liked it was just like an H E B brand one um but with more research I picked this one and this is an America made an American made um, product and I think almost all these are actually yeah this one is this one is this one is let's see oh gosh that just fell this one doesn't say I don't know if this one is, but pretty much all my products are American made. I try to do that so that way I am helping the world. Um, and then the other food that she has every single day is this one. It is the Purina grain-free natural cat food. It's the one that I choose. Um, I love Purina. Um, it is crafted in the United States, um, but I love Purina because I did a project on it in college and so I highly suggest Purina all the way around, um, but they're just like little cans of um, cat food and I just really like love Purina as a brand, but especially this line, uh, which is the Beyond line um i also like the purina one and i have a huge bag of dried cat food um that i keep in case there's a pandemic again <laughs> i don't have to run out and grab cat food and litter i keep a giant bag of cat litter that was super cheap that is definitely not non-toxic and i keep a huge bag of this purina one um cat food that's really good for her and has all the vitamins and minerals um but anyways, that is basically the cat food that she eats. Um, she eats twice a day, so she gets a half a, half a container um, in the morning and then half a container at night. Um, there is a chicken and sweet potato recipe. Um, there is a grain-free duck and sweet, sweet potato recipe. And then there is a... Oops. And then there's a chicken. No, I just that one. What is the other one? Pheasant and sweet potato recipe. And all these ingredients are actually really good. Um, and especially really good for cats in general. So in case you were ever wondering, you're feeding your cow. Oh. Um, and so yeah, this is just amazing. There's no wheat, corn, or soy. Um, and I know a lot of people say not to give them. Uh, grain-free foods um, but cats aren't designed to eat grains um, they're more into meats and um, whole foods so that's just kind of how cats work their stomach is a little bit more acidic than a dog's 
um, and so they can pretty much handle this type of food and that's for them optimal nutrition so that's what I feed my cat and that's all my stuff that I wanted to share with you guys um, if you want some more non-toxic kind of like um, I guess products that I use let me know I'll be happy to share I love sharing these types of things and I watch them all the time on YouTube so all the way around great stuff um, but yeah this is basically what I use for my cat um, again a little bit extra definitely you don't need that if you want just like the basics of the basics of what you need to get your cat or pet or anything like that I have a video that I did a while back I think it was like a year ago and it's just the basics of my cat supplies what I love all the things like that they're all very affordable effective and all the things like that so go check that out and then these are just favorite products so if you want to do a mixture of both or just go with one video or the other feel free to do whatever is best for you and your family and your financial health um, as well as your animal's health so that is all I have and I will talk to you in my next video again hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of these and I am so thankful for you guys bye I also wanted to pray before we close out but I kind of missed the mark on that one um but Let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, I thank you so much for bringing these people back to this channel. I ask that you help them with, ever, with whatever life decision that they're going through right now. Um, fill them with the Holy Spirit for the guidance to know what to do next. Um, and fill them with the peace of you and your spirit. Um, I ask that you um, help them discern what to do with their animals um, and what products they want to give them. Give them the discernment that will help them financially and also help their pet and give them the best life that they can possibly give. Um, I ask that you give them just guidance in overall life and that you fill them with the peace and the spirit of just being able to know that they're doing the right thing. Okay, now, bye guys.